Welcome to the Mason Library's tutorial on beginning the research process. After viewing this tutorial, you will be able to interpret assignment requirements in the context of your research question, brainstorm topic ideas using the method of your choice, identify the types of information you need, and define which source types are included in research databases. Before we start our research process, we need to first read the assignment requirements. Identify and highlight important parts such as determining if we need scholarly sources, number of sources, and how new they should be. After identifying and understanding the assignment requirements, it is time to start brainstorming to help pick a research topic, which should help us develop a research question. When picking a research topic, try to pick an area of interest to make the assignment more interesting and engaging. For example, you may have noticed that music makes you feel different based on what kind of music you listen to. So a more specific question is how music impacts people's ability to work and think. To help come up with a research question, let's make a concept map. A concept map is a visual representation of the relationship between your ideas. After brainstorming, you come up with this good research question. What effect does listening to music have on the well-being of undergraduate students? The University Library's How to Why video on cutset mapping provides other brainstorming methods. This tutorial can be found on the University Library's How to Why page. All these steps then go together. Using both the assignment requirements and the research question, we need to figure out where we can find information to answer the question. We may be able to use sources from newspapers and the open web, or we might need to include a certain number of scholarly sources. Also, let's think about the research question and consider the types of information that will be helpful to answer the question. Would statistics be useful or would personal stories be more effective? For our research question, we think it would be helpful to find information about how music can affect a person's brain, see if any college students have been interviewed about using music to support their mental health, and try to locate research studies on college student wellness in relation to music. But where would we find this kind of information? If required to use scholarly or peer-reviewed sources, or if we want to find information involving research studies, we can search in a research database. Types of information found in a database include scholarly and non-scholarly articles, book chapters, government documents, and student dissertations and theses. Research databases have filters that allow exclusion of certain source types from the results. For example, when selecting the peer-reviewed filter, we will only retrieve peer-reviewed articles. At Mason, we have databases that also allow searching newspapers like the New York Times, The Economist, and The Wall Street Journal. Newspapers can help us locate current information, direct quotes from individuals, and short summaries of other studies. It's possible that we might also want to use the open web to find information that is more informal. For any source we find, we need to make sure that it is credible and appropriate for our research. Based on our information needs and the requirements of the assignment, we are going to use a combination of scholarly research and news sources that we can locate using databases to help us answer our question and write our paper. We may find that for our assignment and research question, we will use a variety of sources. Any questions about the assignment requirements should be directed to the instructor. Librarians can help us locate different kinds of information. In this video, you learned how to interpret assignment requirements in the context of your research question, brainstorm topic ideas using the method of your choice, identify the types of information you need, and define which source types are included in research databases. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have other questions, please refer to our ever-expanding How Do I page, or use our Ask a Librarian service.